How do you get the 80% back who aren't going to church? What would, I, what would I do? I'll tell you what I would do. Let's say I had a, I never will. Uh, I, I will never have a parish or a diocese. But if I were a bishop or a pastor, what would I do? I'd do everything right. I would do things in accordance with the mind of the Catholic Church. I would not try to make up innovations that were merely my personal opinion. I would try to know exactly what the church teaches, and I would try to hand that on faithfully to the people. And I will tell you what happens, contrary to what some of these guys think, that, that you, you, couldn't, you, you wouldn't be able to contain the people in the building. You'd have to keep building bigger churches. Guaranteed, someday somebody's going to call me on it, and I'm going to bet them about a million dollars and tell them to give me three years and I'll bet them a million bucks that I can attract more people than any church building can hold. And I'll guarantee you I could do it by the grace of God, just like that. How would I do that? Just doing stuff right. Doing what the church tells us to do. Not with nonsensical innovations. You know, not by coming up with liturgical abuses and innovations teaching baloney? No. Listen, even the people that sit still for that stuff really don't believe it in their heart. You know, the, this, the, the, the warm, fuzzy brand of Catholicism really doesn't work long term. You know, it, it may make, oh, my, I, I, I like going there because I don't feel guilty because the priest never talks about sin. He never tells me I have to go to confession. He never preaches about those controversial things. And so I can go there and relax. Believe you me, it, I'll tell you something. If you ever determine in years to come that, that, that people can relax listening to me, shoot me.